How do we handle adversity? We all face challenges in life. Our stories and our struggles are all different. Sophomore Todd Bradley is no stranger to tough times. His last three years have been a constant battle. But his story is a testament to the fact that while we may not be able to control what happens to us, we can control how we react. It was like my sophomore year, um, I had hit somebody in a game and like a big lump came on my shoulder. It felt like I went to the training staff, I told them I felt like I was bleeding on the inside. Eventually it went down, I played the rest of my sophomore year and then I played my junior year. Then like we wanted to have surgery on it because it was still there, it kind of got hard. So they thought it was just scar tissue. On April 3rd, 2015, Todd arrived at South Georgia Medical Center for surgery. The doctors removed the hard mass beneath his skin, but what they believed was only scar tissue turned out to be much worse. The pathology report came back and uh, it found out it was a, it was a rare tumor and uh, it was dematrofibrosarcoma protuberans, and, uh, which basically means it was a really rare form of skin cancer, you know, something like one in a million. This rare form of skin cancer begins in the middle layer of the skin. Growing slowly over time, patients and doctors often mistake these tumors as small lumps or rough patches of skin. To be honest, like 17 years old, I thought I was gonna die. Cancer, like you hear about it, but you just never think that would happen to you. And I was really depressed for a, a, good, a good minute, like a couple weeks, three, four weeks. I was really down. Like after like a couple weeks of being depressed, you know, like I used to cry every night, give myself a headache. And uh, you know, one day I picked up the phone and I called like the strongest like person I know, is, which is my, uh, my granddad. I just think he's like, what, you should be like in a man. And I called him and asked him, you know, what, what I should do. And uh, you know, he talked to me on the phone and he just told me to go read Psalms 23. And you know, we talked for a minute. You know, he told me everything's gonna be okay. And uh, the next day, he wrote me a letter, you know, which I keep in my little book. And I still got, I keep it every day with me. And uh, I just read the letter and I just knew everything's gonna be okay. I really couldn't do anything like physically because after the second surgery, they took, they took the skin off my shoulder, like, so like, you ever seen like somebody get burned, but like, it wasn't like I was burned, they just took the whole layer of skin off my shoulder. I couldn't like be outside sweating because it could get infected and I had to like have, be wrapped up every day. What do you feel like you missed out on the most during that whole thing? To be honest, like, just hanging around your friends every day, like at practice and laughing, you know, cause you know, football teams are pretty funny. So like, I had to stay in the house a lot and by myself. I really just miss like being around them every day and just hanging out with them. I miss the football part too, cause I went on the field playing. You know, every Friday night I would go to the games and I had to watch them play and that really sucked cause I couldn't be out there with them. With Bradley on the sidelines, the Wildcats look to a different leader to step up. Todd's best friend, the starting quarterback for Valdosta High School, and now current Georgia Southern student athlete, Seth Schumann. He had missed like the first five games of our senior year of high school. And uh, you know, it was tough seeing him on the sidelines not being able to play. You know, I don't know a better person that could handle that situation than him. He's just the type of guy that, you know, doesn't let many things affect him. You know, he's gone through so many ups and downs. Seth and uh, Jacob, they really helped me a lot because I would come to school very depressed and I didn't want to do work. You know, you got to have somebody like that around you to let you know, like, you still got to do it. You know, you go get through it. And get through it, he did. Three surgeries later, Todd was finally cancer free. Despite having gone six months without any physical activity, Todd wasted no time getting back into things. Only two days after his doctors cleared him, he was back on the field with his teammates. I got cleared and we got, got in there Thursday and I did all right. So uh, on that Friday, you know, he just told me, uh, play as many as you can and then when you're tired, just let me know. 
He finished out his senior year and signed his letter of intent to play at Georgia Southern. Despite missing part of the season, the coaching staff knew he was someone they wanted on campus. I had watched his tape as a junior and knew what a good player he was. So when he got here, it was a, the guy that was a good player, and I knew that he had finished up the season, so he had already kind of been through uh, the cancer, uh, the treatments, uh, every bit of it, and then had finished up his season on a strong note, and uh, you know, I wanted to just spend some time and be around him. He, he's one of those people that makes you feel like, you, one, you're a better guy or a better person whenever you leave from him, and, uh, and so I wanted him part of our program. Freshman year was going good, you know, I felt like I had put in so much work to get back to the point from, you know, being out with the skin cancer. You know, I thought I was back at a good place, like, as far as physically, you know, everything. And I felt like I just came in humble, you know, just trying to work and make a name for myself. Even as a freshman, it was obvious that Todd was an asset to the Eagles' defense. He saw action in each of his first four games, recording 11 tackles. His playing time was increasing, but heading into the fifth game of the season, he encountered another setback. It was such a, an odd situation. You know, we're in pregame and, uh, and everybody had just kind of come out, so we were in an individual period and uh, Coach Bastian and his drills in that period of time are, are non-contact drills. They're not thud, they're not tackling, they're not getting off blocks. Uh, they're just kind of backpedaling and breaking. And, uh, and I look over and I see him on the ground and I'm like, what just happened? When I caught a ball and tore my ACL, came down and tore my ACL. Everything was out of my hands. I couldn't really control anything. I just had to pray that to God and just pray that everything lined up for me and just everything healed properly. It would be like this with any player, but especially for him, the kid that you care so much about, and the kid that's got the history that he does with the medical piece. And my heart just sunk. My heart sunk for him. And uh, so as, uh, as I went over there, I just I told him, there's no reason to be upset. There's no reason to be frustrated right now. You've got a long career ahead of you. And, uh, and if you can beat cancer, what's an ACL? Todd was sidelined once again. He had surgery to repair his ACL and prepare for another long road to recovery. Some days you feel good and some days, you know, you feel like, am I even getting anywhere with it? You know, so like, you just try to take it day by day, you know, and really uh, just lean on other people, you know, people that help encourage me, you know, and push me, even though, you know, it's just unfortunate, couldn't, nothing I could really do control either situations that happen. He handled it extremely well. Uh, a lot of times you see grades go down or that type of stuff when somebody gets hurt, but you never see the guy get down on himself. And, and if you really know Todd's story and everything that he's been through, you see that it's adversity. So yeah, he looked it straight in the face and, and he did a good job with it. And he's now, he's back and he's stronger than he was before he left and he's a better football player than he was before the whole thing happened. After going through all of this, at this point, are you just kind of like, you know what, life, I can take whatever you throw at me? Yeah, to be, yeah, really. <laughs> Uh, I mean, after the cancer, I was like, man, ain't not too much more I can see that is going to you know, shape me like that. You know, I did the ACL, I was like, you know, I'll be straight, just take it one day at a time and just see everything in a positive because, you know, at any moment it could be taken. And with both situations, those could have been, you know, career ending injuries. So, like, I just try to let everybody see, like, see the good side and everything because, you know, at any moment, it can be gone just like that. Todd Bradley, he's the most physical of all the Eagles defenders. <laughs> I'm feeling good, you know. I just got to trust it and just run around and play fast. We all face adversity, but no matter how many bumps we hit along the way, the most important thing is that we just keep going.